Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I hope you are having a wonderful day, okay? Again, if you're not, you're about to, okay? This is a great throw today. Uh, I pulled two fortune cards. Um, actually, this one fell out, so I took it. Um, but then I, I shuffled and picked another one, so we have water, which is good because now all the elements are balanced, okay? We come in with the king of coins, okay? We've got the four of wands the Knight of Coins, and the Star card. Again, this is, besides the Sun card, this is right there with it, okay? It's your dreams coming true, it's your wishes fulfilled, it's your soulmate card, it's it's basically your, your free pass card, if you wanna say that. Anything that you want is absolutely possible right now, okay? I wanna go through this. The King of Coins, okay, this can be uh, I think that today's throw is about relationships on all fronts, okay? It's about clients, friendships, um, romantic relationships, potential partners, uh, marriage partners. It's, it's about alliances and relationships on all fronts are going to flourish, okay? Let's go through the, the fortune cards first. We've got the love card here, okay? That's true love, romance, um, honesty, fidelity, lasting unions, rekindled uh, affections, okay? You're basically going to attain your heart's desire today on whatever front that is for you, okay? Um, we've also got water here, okay? Pay more attention to this than the actual signs, okay? Because we've got, uh, it's the change in emotion, okay? Nurturing, uh, forces of nature, okay? Um, you're going to be surrounded today and someone who is caring, persistent, okay? Um, someone that might be uh, temperamental at times, you're going to find, you know, if you're more receptive, they come in alignments with you, okay? It's going to be things like that. Um, however, though, this governs, you know, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Their emotions at their peak, basically. Okay, so I think that that's wonderful. Again, they pull in a balance here. I'm going to say this, the houses that are lit up here today, you know, this is Aries and Venus. Okay, the opposite sign is Jupiter in Libra. Okay, all the things that uh, are being mirrored back to us right now are all things that we've been working on, all qualities within ourselves. So you see how that's totally balanced here? We're going to pull in the relationships, the alliances, all of the partnerships that you want right now. If there's jobs that you want, people are really going to start noticing you or you're going to open your eyes to uh, areas that, uh, of new interest. Jupiter is about expansion, right? Keep in mind that what it's expanding though are the things that uh, are lit up for you, okay? Are your relationships good? If they are, they're going to be heightened in a good way. If they need to, to be addressed, it's going to be heightened in that way so that you can address them, okay? But this is a positive. I just want to go over the, the cards with us, all right? This is basically where our fifth house too, okay? All our pleasures, our romantics, our desires, everything, our creativity is there, right? That shoots right over to Aquarius here, which is this, okay? how you're uh, perceived, what you're sending out there, how people are seeing you, right? This is, again, where where your uh, relationships, your personalities, your creative ideas, the things that you launch, it, it's how it's received, right? This is where you are either voted on or off the island. You have everything going in your favor right now, okay? I just wanted to get that out of the, the way first. Okay, we come in with the king of coins. Okay, I think that really, this is uh, a very practical energy, okay? It's uh, energy of simplicity, self-control, okay? Financial offerings, okay? This is someone, too, that works very hard for their money, and they would rather save it because of the value and the things that it affords them. Freedom, travel, pleasures, learning, uh a balance between, you know, what makes you content on the home front, what gives you serenity on the home front, right? It's all of that. It's not so much acquiring the finance, so to speak. It's it's what does it afford you? That's the greater picture here, okay? I can work. 
I can spend time with my loved ones, right? It's, it's everything in balance here. Okay. Um, we've got the four of wands. Okay. That is Venus and Aries. It's all the, uh, day-to-day -day things again, that we can balance. It's about patience, serenity. Okay. Paying attention to details, self-control, saving your money, spending your money, spending time with your friends and your families, right? It's, it's alliances. What it is, is it's, it's moving on to the next cycle of life, okay? And that's exactly what we're doing here. Accomplishments, cooperation, right? The people that you're trying to align yourself with are either here or coming in, okay? People of the past that, that you still have uh, relationships with, things you know, get addressed there. They go in a different way. Okay. The Knight of Coins too, that is someone um, that makes you a sound offer. Again, this is someone that is uh, working to secure their financial future, right? They're, you're not easily going to be swayed off of the things that you're really working for, right? If you want a relationship, you're going to pull it in. If you want a business alliance, you're going to pull it in. Whatever it is you want right now, this is the destiny card. It's the soulmate card. It's the wishes fulfillment card. We got this again at some point during this week or over the past week, but the star card came up. I know it did again. This is showing you that whatever it is that you want, it's here. Okay. So keep doing what you're doing be receptive, be open, be, be, you know, work well with others, you know, expand your mind. That's what Jupiter is, right? It's about expansion. You want to expand that in a way that balances your life. Okay. And I think that that is what you're doing here. The star card too also tells you that there's a solution to whatever problem. If you've been looking for a job, it's right here. Okay. People are noticing you because you're you're, you're sending out this, this vibe, and this is what aligns our relationships, our dreams, our visions, right? You can uh, have the best intention. You can write on a piece of paper a hundred times, you know, I want this job. I want this relationship. But unless you feel it, and that's the vibe that you're giving out now, okay, you're going to pull it in. Because other people are aligning with that, it's going to match and all of your business alliances are going to come in. The relationships are going to come in. If you have a relationship that you need to address issues, you're all going to be on the same, uh, you're going to be able to, to hear each other out. If there was a, an instance where, you know, one person was talking, one person wasn't wanting to listen, you're going to notice that you're both uh, attentive. You're both there. You're both present in the conversation. Business alliances, people that you thought weren't noticing you are noticing you. You open up to avenues and you're more receptive to people. So you find out more. Okay. This is, this is where your hopes and your dreams come to fruition on all fronts. There is not one person that this doesn't apply to today. Unless you shoot yourself in the foot with negative self-talk, you're going to pull in everything that you want right now. Okay. Jupiter is very, very strong in Libra. You can absolutely expand your world right now to make it look exactly like you want it to be. There really isn't anything that you can't do. Okay, you've got financial wealth here. You've got tangibility here. You've got relationships here. You've got all that you want sitting right here. It's literally coming right towards you. Okay, you want a foundation in your home, a strong structure, uh, the, the people in your life, it's all sitting right here. All sitting right here. Let me see if I missed anything. I don't, I really don't think that, that I missed anything. Okay, I think too that you're going to notice that what's being mirrored back to you is what you're sending out too. Okay, keep in mind, we've got Aries lit up here. That's the house of self, right? We've got Libra set up here. That's the house that all the extras from the first mask that we put on get stored in that house. So what's happening now is all of that in our relationships in all forms are being reflected back to us, right? So when we reflect those, we're receptive to those. We take those back. We accept all those parts of ourselves. This is when we're accepting all parts of each other, right? Because that's what's being reflected back to us. So you see how it all balances out here? I'm trying to explain this so that everybody can get a piece of this and everybody can relate to it and everybody can pull in what that different thing is that they're trying to do right now. You've got green lights 
everywhere here. There is no way that you could not pull in exactly what you want right now. This is why I keep saying, don't settle for the jobs that you want. Don't stay in relationships that aren't fulfilling because when this door opens for you, you need to have nothing in front of it. It needs to be able to get in. And when you've got all the crud from the past in there because it's the devil you know opposed to the devil you don't know, you shoot yourself in the foot, right? This is exactly why it's so important to do that, okay? All right, there you have it. I think this is wonderful. Um, I think you can pull in anything that you want right now. Don't settle for anything, okay? I know a few of you are, are up for, for jobs right now. Don't, and they're coming in. They're just not to your liking. I read the comments just, I don't have time to respond to all of them, but but I do read them to see where you're all at, right? So um, this is exactly why we don't settle. We really don't care what other people are saying. We should take this job because it's a job. No, you should never do that. You should wait for this. And this is exactly why, okay? I shuffled these. I pulled them out. I asked what you needed to see. You're being shown exactly what you need to see. I'm just the messenger. Okay. And I hope that I explained this in a way that, that really can relate to everyone. Okay. Thank you so much. I know you will have a wonderful day. Okay. Make it all that you want. It's right here for you. Okay. Thank you.